During the course of your education, you will make presentations, craft writings, and complete assignments that demonstrate what you've learned. Over time, these assignments will be a record of your thinking and learning. It will become a portfolio. We want you to be able to share your classwork with future employers, with family and friends, and with your classmates. Sharing is one way you can expand the impact of your work because when you share your final product, others can learn about it. In order to be able to share your presentations with others, you'll need to know how to find images that you can reuse. Did you know that copying images from the web, like using Google Images, is ethically questionable? In the United States, we have a law that protects intellectual property, like photos, drawings, videos, and other creative works. The law is commonly called the copyright law. Think of it like this apple. The apple belongs to the farmer, just like a creative work belongs to the creator. The farmer can sell the apple to a supermarket who will sell the apple to you. In this scenario, the farmer and supermarket make money. The artist, like the farmer, wants to be paid for her work. She has the right to decide how her work is distributed. Unlike an apple, which can't be distributed again after you use it, digital works, like images from the internet, aren't used up when we use them. This is why creators are choosing to give you permission to distribute their work in advance. There are spaces on the web where you are encouraged to share, revise, and remix all kinds of creative works. The creators on these pages give you permission in advance to use their work however you want. For example, you can use pixabay.com or Wikimedia Commons to find pictures that you can use in presentations. In the upcoming videos, you'll learn how to find openly licensed images that you can use in your presentations.